the sacrifice of Polyxena. She knew it was her fate, but she did not fear it. She walked with dignity and grace, her head held high, her eyes shining with courage. She was the daughter of King Priam and Queen Hecuba, the sister of Hector and Paris, the princess of Troy. She was Polyxena, and she was going to die. She had seen the vision of her brother Hector, who had appeared to her in a dream. He had told her that the gods demanded her sacrifice, that it was the only way to end the war that had ravaged their city for ten long years. He had told her that she had to die by the hand of Achilles, the Greek hero who had killed him and dragged his body around the walls of Troy. He had told her that she had to die for the glory of Troy, for the honor of her family, for the love of her people. She had agreed without hesitation, without regret. She loved her city, her family, her people. She was willing to give her life for them. She was willing to face the man who had slain her brother, the man who had broken her heart. She had loved Achilles, once. She had met him when he had come to Troy as a guest, before the war had started. He had been handsome and charming, brave and noble. He had wooed her with his words and his deeds, and she had fallen for him. She had given him her heart, and he had given her a promise. He had promised to marry her, to take her away from Troy, to make her his queen. He had promised to love her, always. But he had broken his promise, and her heart. He had betrayed her, and her city. He had joined the Greeks in their war against Troy, and he had become their greatest warrior. He had fought against her people, and he had killed her brother. He had turned from a lover into an enemy, from a hero into a monster. She hated him, now. She hated him for what he had done, for what he had become. She hated him for breaking her promise, for breaking her heart. She hated him for making her love him, still. She reached the altar, where he was waiting for her. He was wearing his armor, his helmet, his shield. He was holding his sword, the sword that had killed her brother, the sword that would kill her. He looked at her and she looked at him. Their eyes met, and they saw each other. They saw the love, and the hate. They saw the past, and the present. They saw the life, and the death. He spoke to her, and she spoke to him. He asked her to forgive him, and she asked him to remember her. He told her he loved her, and she told him she hated him. He said he was sorry, and she said she was proud. He said he would miss her, and she said she would haunt him. They said their last words, and they said goodbye. He raised his sword, and she bared her neck. He swung his sword, and she closed her eyes. He cut her throat, and she fell to the ground. He killed her, and she died. He dropped his sword, and he knelt beside her. He took off his helmet, and he touched her face. He kissed her lips, and he cried her name. He held her body, and he mourned her soul. He loved her, and she was gone.